Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Diva, welcome to the Facebook page and YouTube channel of Mrs. Diva. My name is Asa Jain and I help you with work from home business ideas, home business ideas, work options and I share tips to grow your existing business. So uh, as usual, I'm here with your uh, business tip of the day or, and the business idea of the day and today I'm going to discuss a very, very um, important uh, uh, you know work option for uh, women for housewives moms who would want to uh, start earning from their home itself so uh, a lot of you um, you know talk to me and tell me that you were in human resources you were doing recruitments for your company before you got married or you had kids and um, you were into uh, you know training employees of the company and you were doing hiring and similar um, you held similar profiles in your previous organizations so today i want to discuss this thing with you that you know it is uh, it is possible for you to open up your own job consultancy from your home and you do not even have to go out a lot for it and i, I am 100 percent sure that once you figure out a little bit of the work and you you uh, know a little bit of time management you can you can um, you know get back to that profile of hiring people and uh, working as a job consultant without working for someone else and going out every day so uh, the first scenario is that if you get a um, you know if you get a remote job if you get hired as a remote uh, hr profession then there is nothing like it and we have discussed it earlier also you will find my earlier videos uh, where i discuss that you can um, you know uh, work remotely as 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 an uh, uh, as an HR person, HR, uh, you know, uh, human resources person for any company. So today I'm going to discuss with you how can you start your own job consultancy business from your home itself. So what I'm going to tell you is the first, uh, um, you know, the first thing rather that I would want to say is that if you have left your job uh, sometime back, then uh, do uh, do a bit of, uh, you know, market research and, uh, <coughs> you know, <coughs> sorry make yourself aware about the latest uh, uh, latest trend that is going on uh, how is the market reacting uh, what are the various trends that are uh, uh, that have changed from when you were in your job so uh, because we uh, sometimes what happens is we get out of touch uh, from our industry we are not aware about the latest uh, latest trends so the point is for this market research is to know is to update yourself then you know you could uh, you you could uh, one of the ways to do it is to speak with your friends who are still in uh, you know in job these could be working in hr agencies these could be working as hrs in companies or even employees also if they are working for some other company i'm sure they would know what is going on latest packages uh, what about the uh, uh, you know how, how what skills are um, uh, you know people uh, require what type of skills they require and uh, you know similar things then you can also connect with recruitment agencies and you can uh, you know online portals you can uh, um, speak to them you can take their membership you can uh, you know uh, use them as a platform to establish yourself first so i know that these online portals have membership fees uh, and all and they have this whole structure of uh, 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 you know membership fees that you have to pay but uh, one you can uh, you know simply uh, go old school and try to negotiate with them that always works if not that and if you think that you have to pay that fees then try to use it uh, to the fullest uh, of uh, you know to the full capacity so you can uh, speak to a lot of people you can uh, speak to a lot of candidates you can speak to a lot of um, uh, company uh, heads who would want to or who are uh, you know trying to recruit people so this will be a good exposure for you a good experience as well for you to <coughs> get back into the groove and then you can use LinkedIn. Use LinkedIn extensively. LinkedIn has been uh, very, very, uh, you know, has been playing a very pivotal role these days in um, helping uh, or, or helping companies, connecting companies with uh, employees or uh, with with probable, you know, candidates. 
and uh, similarly use twitter twitter i know a lot of companies as a matter of fact that a lot of companies use twitter to uh, hire and to you know to start rolling out this information that we are looking for this profile person for this profile person for this profile and you have you will have to follow a lot of companies on their twitter handles and you will see how um these companies or what what they what skills they are looking for in a particular profile and similarly reddit also reddit is also another uh, option so i've uh, talked about three uh, portals twitter linkedin and reddit so just uh, keep an eye out make your account uh, do extensive reading so for linkedin you can join in groups so they have uh, uh, niche specific groups there and you can join those groups and you can start noticing which companies are uh, uh, recruiting and are they offering directly or they are looking for someone who could help in recruitment or if they need someone who could consult them for recruitment and this way you can uh, you know engage in healthy and meaningful interactions as well this would build up your the trust in uh, you know uh, others will start trusting you and seeing you as an expert offer your advice share articles write your own blogs because you have been you know you have worked and you have like you have tons of experience from when you were working just put that into use and if nothing else you can just start uh, you know uh, jotting down points and then sharing them in a proper manner on linkedin and uh, um, you know why connect with these companies so if you uh, if you get this um, contract and you uh, you know you start acting as an hr consultant for any company do make sure that you discuss all the terms of um, you know work and the payment in advance so it is always to start off uh, with complete clarity what they are ex uh, expecting from you and uh, how much are you uh, going to get paid uh, for it and uh, so these contractual terms that they, they should be clear from the very beginning itself so uh, you what you can also do is try to always keep a pool of you uh, of candidates who are looking for jobs ready so keep their resumes and keep talking to them keep talking to these candidates if you have arranged for an interview and when they come back do make sure that you interact with them ask them what kind of questions were they were asked or what kind of salary expectations they have or what was the salary the company was offering so you will know of course you're going to get this feedback from the company also but then it it is always better to know from the candidate itself directly that what was he expecting and how much did the company offer or where did they start the offer from so these are uh, these are something uh, you could also you know you'll uh, be able to gauge the industry norms or what what the, the th various things that uh, or the trends that are going on and then uh, what you will also be able to do is to offer new candidates a list of questions that were previously asked by this uh, or by any organization for the uh, profile that they have applied for so this will be a great help for the new candidates who are applying for jobs that you can uh, you know help them with questions which is which is a very very important thing a lot of candidates google questions before they appear for the interview which they, everybody should do because it prepares you for what is coming of course we are not uh, we are never sure 100% what question the interviewer is going to ask but you can always definitely prepare yourself for it and you can offer this extra service of have helping the candidate prepare for the interview and then the last thing that you can also offer is uh, you know soft skills training or uh, you could uh, prepare some online uh, you know pdf kind of thing and share that with the candidates and um, help them prepare for the interview or for uh, a corporate life that that uh, they uh, you know for the company that they are applying for how to make themselves ready for that work environment so these are a few options that i could think of for 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 women who were earlier working in hr and uh, who were earlier in recruitment so just give it a thought see if these ideas work for you just see if if uh, you can work out anything uh, from this and if you need to discuss anything please feel free to connect with me and before i sign off like i always request all of you please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, uh, please like my facebook page please share my videos it is a great help for me this is the biggest help and biggest support that i need from you guys please subscribe to the youtube channel and thank you so much everybody until we meet next time